Jennifer Bagley, you guys, we've got an amazing program to talk to you about. CI Web Group, just to give you a quick synopsis, we're a digital marketing agency. We are in three countries. We've got over 60 team members, and essentially we have a whole bunch of nerds. Has anybody ever hired a web guy to do your business, like Bob in his garage, or to build your website? The guy? Raise your hand. How'd it go with the guy? I think we're recording. <laughs> How'd it go? Good. Yeah? Results all good? It's beautiful? It performs? You're on page one of Google? You get a new business? It's beautiful. You go to it and you're like, I love my website. It's gorgeous. Here's the, cha <laughs> Here's the challenge. Bob, there, he doesn't exist. There isn't one guy that is born into this world as a designer, a coder, an engineer, an SEO engineer, a social media marketer, a local listings expert. Anybody know a designer? Graphics designer. What are they like? Normal guy. Human, yes. <laughs> Normal, okay. What else? Creative. Are they creative? They dress nice? They have friends? Anybody known a developer, a coder? Yes, what are they like? Adore. Adore. <laughs> That's one four letter word. What are they like? What else? Anyone? Introverted. Introverted, perfect. On Friday night, you may see them staring at a green screen, looks like the Matrix with a couple Heinekens, techno music, and rocking it out, and they feel like they're playing with friends, and their friend's name is Toxic49. <laughs> yes? Yes. Yes. Anybody know an engineer? And we have a friend that's an engineer, yes? What are they like? Complicated. Complicated, I'll take it. What else? Analytical. Analytical, absolutely. Do they make decisions fast? Why? Because they're researching. Every day, all day, still researching. They take forever to, to bring stuff together. Anybody known a social media person? What are they like? Energetic. Energetic, perfect. What else? Distracted. Distracted. Absolutely. I'll take it. What else? Social butterflies? Would you agree? Like a bounce house? They want to be friends with everybody and you wonder what they're doing that's actually productive and going to make you any money? Fair? So can you hire a person? Do you think those personality styles are born in one body? Technically, they're not. These are totally different kinds of people. If you found somebody, I'd pay them a lot of money and bring them on if they could be all those different personality styles. But reality is, they don't come in the same shape or size. Every single one of these people, content writers, social media people, strategists, if you have a designer, what do you think they believe is most important? How it looks. Absolutely. Does it have to get business? Does it have to be ranked on number one at Google? Well, they want to know it's pretty. But if you have something that's absolutely gorgeous with no brain, how's that work? <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, okay, <laughs> it requires more. All right, it requires more. So each one of these areas is absolutely critical. A content writer. In your world, what is the number one thing you cannot lose or it will prevent you literally from doing business at all? What is it? Placement. Placement? What else? How about your voice? If I walked up here and I stopped talking, how's my presentation gonna go? Click, click, click. Does it work? If you walk into somebody's house and you walk in, and sit down and don't speak. Are you going to sell anything? No. no. I'm giving you the easy questions first. <laughs> no. Digitally, talking is identical online. So if you have to talk in business in order to close more business, bring in more leads and so forth, offline, what do you have to do online? Same thing, and, and what does it look like online? 
Tweet? I'll take it. What else? Facebook. Facebook. What are you doing on web or what are you doing on Facebook? Talking online is identical, you guys. The difference is it's in the form of text, audio, video, and pictures. How many of you have a website you feel like is talking frequently? It's up to date. It has something new to say. It shows that you're relative, you're experienced. Anyone? How many of you have a sales guy you pay a salary to? Anyone? You don't count yourself? <laughs> All right. If you guys have a salesperson, do they take vacations? Yes. Do they sleep? Do they call in sick? Do they play hooky? Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you, have jumped on. you have a website that should be your number one what? Salesperson. Can it talk for you all night every day? Does it take vacations? Does it call in sick? Does it play hooky? Do you have to pay it benefits? <laughs> okay, so you guys, this whole program is about helping you grow and helping you grow faster. Because we're in a world where people shop different. The way your customers find resources, vendors, service providers, products, and services, it's different. Would you agree? Yeah? How? They got a lot more resources at their fingertips. Absolutely. Their fingertips are going where? Google. Google. Perfect. Where else? Google. That'll work. Search engines. Okay? In two and a half seconds, people can find out everything about you. They can see what, how long you've been in business. They should be able to. They can see do other people like you? If they have a complaint, what do they do? Go to the PTA and talk to your neighbors? What do they do? There we go. <laughs> okay, so this whole program is really designed, you guys, Day and Night and Air Cold and Ferguson have pulled together with us an amazing program. It really breaks down into three sections. One, training and education. This stuff changes constantly. The digital marketing world is literally like trying to build a city on quicksand. You guys familiar with Google and how frequently the, the algorithm changes? It's a beast. <laughs> it's really difficult. Is technology changing quickly? Yes? yes? When you go to a restaurant, do you people, what do you see people on? Their cell phones in a movie theater. What do they have to tell everybody to turn off? You go to a ball game, what are they on? How many of you have your cell phones sitting on the table in front of you right now? Raise it up. We live on these devices, you guys. So, training and education, strategy and planning, business planning. It doesn't help to become an, a powerhouse sales organization or lead magnet if you also don't make sure that you're improving operations so that you're more efficient and you can handle the business. Would you agree? Okay, so business planning and strategy is part of this as well and an incredible list of custom marketing solutions to help you guys build the proper infrastructure, do the right things in the right order at the right time. Fair? So number one, you guys, this program, one, you guys are going to have a dealer webinar series that's awesome because you guys can attend training anytime. You can attend live, you can watch the recording later. Also. We go through an interview process and a strategy session to help you kind of identify with some of the things that we're going to talk about today and how it relates to your business specifically. Custom marketing plans are available. We'll talk more about that. Dealer locator, training, resources, marketing portal, and trainings just like this. So the program itself has a primary objective. Is this important to you? Do you want a plan that's simple and easy? in a complicated world, <laughs> all right? Inexpensive. Is your number one goal to, how many of you, your number one goal is to increase leads coming into your business? How many of you would like to automate as much as you can so you can sail off into the sunset and eventually give your business to your kid or somebody on the team? Anyone? Focused on the future. My thing is you gotta walk five steps ahead to get there faster. <laughs> I wanna know what the end looks like in order to be able to get there. But I'm an entrepreneur. I happen to own a marketing agency. Okay, how about increase conversions? 
Increased sales. Fair? All right, we're on the same page. In order to do that, we've got to get you guys in front of more people. Your prospects are looking day in and day out. They're looking online. They're Googling. They're Googling your company. Question for you. If I asked you, you guys are going to, you're going to put in a new swimming pool. How are you going to find out who you're going to work with? Tell me. You're going to Google a bunch of people. Awesome. Anyone else? What are you going to do? Google, what are you going to do? It's not up there. <laughs> what are you, I was looking at my phone. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to go online. What are you going to do? Online. Online? Ask a friend. Awesome. And if your friend gave you a referral, then what are you going to do? You're going to look them up next? Everything ends with one base area. And that is even if your business is all referrals, Eventually, they're going to go online and they're going to Google your company name with the word what after it. Reviews. Reviews. Perfect. How many of you believe you have a referral-based business? Awesome. Here's the problem. You don't know how much business you're losing that's a referral because a consumer went to Google, typed in your company name, put the word reviews after it, and didn't like what they saw, couldn't figure out which company was yours, or didn't see any positive reviews. Fair? And we would never know because they never what? They never called. You're not looking at your phone? All right, <laughs> so first question is how are your customers searching? I tell you, this is the coolest part. I would literally rather listen to a group of soccer moms tell me how they buy than a marketing agency any day. Why? Absolutely. I'm a speaker. I have a lot of my technical experts that believe what their, their subject matter expert is, what their area is, that that's the number one way you drive business. In reality, I love speaking to audiences because I get to ask real people, what would you do? How would you look for it? How would you make a decision? Would you agree that people buy two ways today? One, they search online. Two, they ask for referrals and they validate that referral online before they make a call, for the most part. Would you agree? So what should your number one focus be for marketing? Your website. Okay? It's what you guys own. If you think you can bring somebody in, Bob, a receptionist and so forth, and get them to take care of this, you guys, it's not possible. It's not possible. You're talking about thousands and thousands of different variables that they have to know. They have to study all the changes and keep up with Google and the responses. They have to know how to work Photoshop to make beautiful designs. They have to know how to code in order to build a website. They have to know how to build a database in MySQL to make the infrastructure, to make the pretty face have a brain. <laughs> okay? They have to know these things. They have to be an engineer and be able to study the data. Would that be an expensive hire? Okay, you only need a piece of each one of these people. You just need pieces of them. So pulling all those people together is going to put you in a better position. All right, I'm going to skip through this. So we're going to go straight into marketing automation, and we're going to follow this timeline. The first one says, attract interest. Second, capture leads. Third, nurture prospects. Fourth, convert sales. Next, deliver and satisfy. Upsell customers and get referrals. Is that in a nutshell what you want to do? Yes? All right. <coughs> You're not going to be able to read the text on this. <laughs> it's tiny. However, this side right here is basically saying these are the two ways that you guys generate leads. The number one most important element of your entire marketing is your website. You own it. That's something that can actually improve the valuation of your entire business if you did in the future want to sell. Fair? <coughs> Leads come to your website primarily two ways. One, search engine optimization. People refer to it as the SEO. You guys familiar with that? <coughs> okay, it's the process of getting your website from the back of Google for a specific phrase and location to the top of Google. Have you ever went in and, and searched AC repair in in a city? Looking for your site? Okay. Every time somebody puts a search phrase in, 
basically it's like a giant filing system. Google takes this big drawer, opens up this drawer, and it shows you the pages that are labeled properly that Google deems as being the proper content for that search. One search. So sometimes I'll talk to people and they'll say, oh, I'm on Google, I'm on page one. The first question I have to say is, for what? In your industry, you've got some basics. AC repair, AC maintenance, AC installation, AC replacement, AC tune-up. Furnace installation, furnace tune-up, furnace maintenance, furnace service, furnace repair. Same thing with heater, because it's referred to two different ways. But a lot of times I go to sites and I'm doing an interview and I see cooling repair. Do people search for cooling repair? You think? Sometimes. Cooling is an action. They're looking at a system, a, a, a physical thing that's broken versus a process, an action, like cooling. So AC is one phrase that will drive new traffic, but it's also referred to as what? You're the subject matter experts here. Air conditioner, air conditioning. Every single variation of how people search is gonna put you into a different drawer and it all has to be worked on differently. So number one way you can drive new business being on page one of Google for the phrases in the locations that your prospects are actually looking. Fair? All right, second one is pay-per-click. Here's the difference. When you go to Google and you type in AC repair in blank, have you guys ever seen the number in the very top left-hand corner that says 10 out of 300,000, 1,700,000? That's the number of pages in that drawer. So if you need to be number one of one million, is that more difficult than being number one of 300,000 pages? It also means it's gonna take more time and it's usually related. The bigger that number is at the very top left-hand corner of the screen, the bigger the number, it's usually also the larger the population, which means the more what for you? Competition, competition yes, and opportunity. Population, more houses, more broken units, more systems that need to be replaced. So you guys have to be very, very strategic in this. If you were going after or trying to be on page one of Google for AC repair in, give me a city. Tempe. Tempe. I think it's 535, 535,000 if I remember right. Okay? If you need to be number one for that, that could take you six months to get there. What if it's Los Angeles? where there's eight million competitive pages and you need to be number one of eight million. That can take you a year or longer. So you could be investing in a key phrase for a certain duration of time, be it 12 months, 24 months, or you could go after something that you could get returns faster by going after a phrase that still has searches for something you can get ranked out of 300,000. And you could be getting new leads into your business within the first 90 days. Fair? Once you guys have this math down, it's literally a math equation. As a business owner, I would wanna know, I have X amount of dollars going into X amount of phrases that I know will produce in 12 to 24 months. In the meantime, I'm going after a phrase that's less competition, and I have pay-per-click making me money while I go after the more difficult areas. Does that make sense? So pay-per-click, how many of you are familiar with it? How many of you have done it successfully? Okay. <laughs> I hear that a lot and usually it's because people try to do it themselves or it's because they hire an agency to do it and they're driving all their leads to the home page of their site and they can't tell the difference between what came in via pay-per-click or what came in via search engines and you won't know what works. You have to have an individual landing page for each campaign in a pay-per-click environment. And that's when you're gonna show up on the ads on the right-hand side. You know what I'm talking about? And the top? All right, so that's how you can drive business faster. You can have thousands of phrases in there. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. You can say if it's 104 degrees, I wanna spend $90 a day because I've got five trucks sitting out there and I don't have them booked. And when the temperature drops down to 70, I can turn it off or I can lower it to $20 a day because there's less interest. Does that make sense? Here's the difference. How many of you have done a mailer campaign? Okay. If you guys send out a thousand postcards, how much do you have to pay for each postcard? 
Do you have to pay for each one? Whether they read it or not. If you took the same budget and you put it into pay-per-click and they only took $4 if they happened to open it, is that a wiser investment? We have to be really, really sweet, slick, you guys, with our, our cash, because you guys only have so much time and so much money, and we've got to make sure that we leverage this very quick. Everything else on the left-hand side is essentially all the things that help you make these two things happen. Your local listings, your social media accounts, your blogging, your email marketing, and everything else. Okay? All right. Pay-per-click, or excuse me, SEO. How many of you are currently investing in an SEO plan? So a search engine optimization plan, how it should work is you should have a number of key phrases that you pay to have ranked or to get moved up in Google's organic searches to the first page position one of Google. So this account has 65 phrases in the last seven days, six have moved up, 13 have moved down. 39 of those 65 phrases were on page one, position one through three. 19 were on page two, or excuse me, were on page one, position four through 10. You should have a phrase and a rank. So this is saying Melbourne Residential Air Conditioning Service, page one, position one. And you should see a report. Anyone have a report that shows you these are the phrases that I'm trying to go after, and this is where I rank. I love this industry because there's so much opportunity, <laughs> okay? <laughs> How much do you think it's worth to you to be sitting here? To have 65 phrases on page one, position one of Google? That's like, it's like it's good. <laughs> That's good stuff. Okay. All right, so how many of you have heard of local listings? Local business listings, yes. Give me an example of one. You said it earlier. Yo, perfect. What else? They're on the board. <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo, awesome. What else? Angie's List, perfect. Other than the fact that it's paid and it's a membership and you can't see it unless you join. And <laughs> please don't have all your reviews going to Angie's List where no one can see them unless you're a member. Okay. <laughs> all right. Here's the thing. You guys get sales calls from these guys? Yelp, Dex, Dex Media, Yahoo, Yellow Pages, YP. Are they calling you trying to sell your listing? I know they are. <laughs> Here's the thing, if you paid for all these listings, which technically you should, you guys would be out thousands and thousands of dollars. We have the ability to create one listing and push it out to the top 60 local listing sites like this. Smarter? Okay. If you guys were subscribed to that service with us, it's $100 a month to manage 60 listings and manage all of the reviews that you get on each one of these, all, the, all of these listings. Do you want to know if somebody's talking about you online? Yes. You guys, this is really important. If somebody leaves you a review and it's a positive review, we want to take that review and we want to leverage it. That means turn it into a gorgeous graphic, drop it on your social media accounts, publish it to your website, and publish it every 75 days for the next 10 years on your social account forever. Is that leveraged? We got to work sharp, we got to work smart, we got to get things done quickly. Okay, so this is actually part of the entire program that Ferguson and Air Cold and Dan Knight have put together. Just imagine all of that being taken care of and not worrying about it. All right, local listings, you guys, the way this works, we set up all of these local listings and anytime a review comes in, if it's positive, we repost it, we publish it, and we're putting it out on all these other places. That's a valuable asset you don't want to leave. You don't want to not leverage that. How many of you have reviews you wish other people could see? We have to make that possible. That has to happen, because otherwise it's just completely it's, it's not an asset, and it should be. How many of you have received a negative review? Hey, you don't even have to raise your hand. They wake up grumpy. There's plenty of them that just do, okay? But sometimes negative reviews come in because it's a competitor, an ex-employee. So you need to know instantaneously. If you go to Google as dad, okay, or mom, and you're searching for something and you see a one star or a negative review, What's the, and there's other ones, what's the first thing you notice? 
Do people notice the negative review first? Yes. So here's the thing. If you don't play offense and proactively try and build a network online that, that pushes all of your reviews, your positive reviews to the top, then when you have Mr. Grumpy and they do leave a negative review, you gotta make it so that it's difficult for that negative review to show up at the top. The only way to do that is you gotta put some effort in up front and make sure that all your positive reviews are showing. Fair? Does that make sense? Okay. Social media. Oi, oi. How many of you love social media? Right. Okay. So, <laughs> how many believe it's a necessary evil? I'll take it. <laughs> okay. So, if you talk to a social media expert, they're going to have a conversation with you. They're going to disagree with what I'm going to tell you today. Like I said, I'm a business owner first. You have to do this. I mean, you have kids or wives that sit on Facebook 24 7. You seen it? People are living on Facebook. They're on it more than they watch TV today. So we've got to make sure you're there. We have to make sure. When a consumer goes to your website, that's one of the first things they look at. They also look at your reviews. They also go to your Facebook account to see if you're alive and well, if you'll answer, if you have content, if you look professional, if other people like you. It builds trust. So it may not directly drive a whole bunch of new business, but if you have a referral from a great customer and they check out your site, checks out, and then they go to Facebook, and the last time you posted was 12 years ago, two years ago, in 2012. What do they feel? What is it? Yeah, you might be closed. It's that simple. Your business might be closed. Oh, last time they posted was 2012. I don't even think they're in business. I'm out. So you have to do it. But we can make it fast, and we can make it easy. You can literally create content you guys don't have to do any of this. <laughs> We've worked with Day and Night and Eric Cole to pull together all different kinds of marketing tools and different kinds of, of promotions. You have different kinds of promotions. You guys have manufacturer rebates. You've got um, possibly energy rebates. You have tax credits for high efficiency systems. You guys might have different discounts that you give in spring or fall for tune-ups. Yes? Okay. Imagine taking that content, putting it on autopilot, publishing it to only your Facebook account, and then there's a chunk of code that automatically submits that out to all the other social sites. Smart? Okay, a social media expert's going to disagree and they want you to have a unique campaign for everyone and everyone's got to have different content. I'm a realist, you don't have time for that. <laughs> Not right now. We have to take baby steps. All right. So, getting ranked on Google, your social media sites, and your local listings are designed for you to become a magnet and attract more customers. Fair? All right. Next, capture leads. Here's a challenge. When I go look at, not you specifically, but I evaluate thousands of websites. When I go look at a website, you guys have to be able to convert new business. Worst thing you can do, tiny little phone number that you can't click to call. You ever been to a website and you're looking on your phone and the phone number is up there, but you're tapping it and nothing happens? <laughs> like, phone straight out the window, okay? I have issues. All right, so you gotta have things to convert. Everybody's different. So your personal preference, it doesn't matter. So conversions, on the right-hand side, it says schedule service, request an online estimate. On the top left-hand corner, it says sign up for our maintenance plan. On the top left-hand corner, it says apply for financing. Are these important? Yes? Down at the bottom it says, let's talk, schedule an appointment. Phone number, big, you can tap it, you can click to call. There's call to actions throughout the entire website. Not a tiny little phone number in the very bottom, something you can't click. Nowhere for somebody to take action based on their needs. Your current customers need a place to go that feels like home. Does schedule service feel like home? Yes? Does contact us feel like home? <laughs> eh. Contact us. It's really generic. There's, it, there's no connection to it. Versus schedule, so you can schedule service, you can check out the site and you can look for discounts, rebates, and promotions. You're not sure what all this stuff means, you can check out FAQs, terminology. You can request an online estimate. 
let us know some information about you. Do you how many of you have a form on your site that asks customers for the things you would normally have to ask over the phone? How long have you lived in your home? How many square feet is it? Uh, how many rooms do you have? What's important to you? Do you have any allergies? Do you have dust? Do you have mold growing? And so forth. They will give you that information. Do you get to have a better phone call with them if you have that information up front? Save them time. Save you time. Everybody's different. There are some generations and people that will refuse to call. They're not going to call you. Their personality style, it's not their deal. They will fill out a form, and their time is so important, they'll give you more information than you think they will. There's another group of people that are so busy getting their air conditioning system fixed or repaired or replaced is one of how many things on their daily list. We gotta think like people, we gotta think like mom, right? What's on my list for the day? I got kids, I got school, I gotta cook, I gotta get groceries, I gotta make sure this is taken care of, I got three business things going, oh, something just broke, I gotta make sure that's fixed. Dang, I gotta get the air conditioning fixed. Think about your brain, it's like ping pong balls, ding, 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 okay? That's how your consumers feel. Hiring you or even calling you is one out of a thousand things they have to do. Make it easy. Give them options. Fair? All right. Okay, so the ones who are busy, if you don't give them the ability to book time with you in the future, which is what this is, as soon as it goes, the little pop-up that said schedule service or schedule time or schedule an appointment, it can say anything, that's for somebody that comes to your site that's absolutely swamped. And as soon as they got to your site, they're like, you know what, I can't do this right now. I gotta go. And they're out of there. Versus giving them the ability to tap that button, pull up the, uh, a widget that says, pick a time, you can talk to us at, on Monday at noon or Tuesday at one. You guys have two different type of scheduling. You have the sales side of the business, which is a consumer wanting to talk to you about a problem. And you have the dispatching or operations side of the business. They have to be managed differently. That makes sense? So the sales side is, I need help and I need to talk to somebody. I've got a situation, I don't know what to do. I just bought this house. I know this thing is raggedy, it's gotta go. <laughs> but I wanna talk to somebody. That's scheduling a time to talk to somebody about my problem. That's the sales side of the business that's scheduling on that side. Operations is, you had a conversation with them, no problem, you're gonna schedule a time to come out to their home. That's dispatching. Two different processes, two different systems and we have some that are using it. Okay, what you're seeing or what you just saw, there's, here's the challenge. When you build a gorgeous site and you've done everything right, the problem is, is that people come to the site, they glance through it, they're like, wow, most professional HVAC site I've seen. I'm in. They tap the phone number, they fill out a form, they schedule a meeting, and they're gone really fast. We've gotta keep them on your sites longer. I don't think they're gonna come to your site on Saturday and read your blog. <laughs> Right? It's, not, it's not that exciting. So we have to have tools on the site that are gonna allow people to, to think or believe it's useful and to get information out of it. The one that just demoed right there, this, this is a troubleshooting system. How many of you have ever went out to a client's house and all it was is the battery in their thermostat or something silly they could have done themselves and you had to send them an invoice, yes? Okay, costly to you. Do they like getting an invoice for you changing the batteries in the thermostat or flipping a switch? Could potentially give you a negative review, which is a problem because that diffuses everything you're working towards that's positive. Give them the ability to come to the site and troubleshoot the issue themselves. We're not gonna put them in the attic, but we will say, what's your problem? It's, it's related to air conditioning. Okay, here's three things. Check, make sure that your battery's good, make sure your thermostat's on, make sure the temperature's set to this, make sure this, your fan is set to on. Did that solve your problem? No. And then it keeps running through and giving them quick little things. At the end, they either fix the problem, you avoided having to go out and do that and send them a bill and possibly get a negative review. They stayed on the site longer. They found your website helpful, so they might bookmark it for the future and remember who you are. And in addition to that, what else? What are you guys saying? What? You get a good review. Absolutely. 
Okay. There's other things to do to keep people on your site longer. I talked about the scheduling system. You guys have discounts, you have promotions, you should have financing, you should have a maintenance program. How many of you have a maintenance program that you charge for? That you don't have to manually send out an invoice every year? Awesome, <laughs> okay. Is residual income good? Yes? It's really good, especially in your guys' industry, because you guys have to deal with two seasons that are, <laughs> I'll say offline, <laughs> okay? <laughs> residual income is good. How many of you have, um, you guys have Netflix on your credit card? And it auto deducts from your credit card? Anyone subscribe to Netflix, yeah? Cell phone? Anybody have water delivered to their house? Anybody have pest control on their credit card and they just come out at quarterly? Why not air conditioning? The number one thing you can save people is their time. That's first. It's more important than money in many situations. So same thing, give them the ability to apply for financing online, give them the ability to sign up for a maintenance program online, give them the ability to choose how they want to pay. Put in a credit card, how frequently they want to be billed, which program they want, and reduce the labor of having to send out bills and be a collection company manually, because the system can do that. Yes? yes? It's mailbox money. All right, so that is conversions. We have to be able to convert. Nurture prospects, we've got to be able to stay in touch with these guys. Getting them to sign up for an email newsletter so they can stay on top of promotions and so forth. Giving them helpful tips and facts regarding their home. It'd be great to have something that said, okay, it's getting hot, here's three things you can do in your home to make it uh, your energy bills or reduce your energy bills. And it doesn't have to just be related to your service. What are other things they can do to keep their energy costs down? Is that helpful? We do customer focus groups all the time. And we're always asking, what do you, who do you remember? What's the name of your real estate company? And they're like, oh, it's Joe. What's the name of this? And they start rattling off companies and names. Who's your air conditioning guy? Right. I don't have to answer that, okay? <laughs> they sh we need to make sure they know. Your existing customers are just as critical for you to have a marketing plan as it is for you to get new prospects in the door. Would you agree? Okay, having your existing customer database or prior prospects sitting inside uh, your QuickBooks account is probably not the great way to do that. All right, we've talked about promotions and discounts, client interviews. So what's your process? When you go sit down with the client, you sit down at their home, you ask them a bunch of questions to learn more about what their needs are, yes? You guys ever ask them when was the last time they bought an air conditioning system? If they bought an air conditioning unit 10 years ago, how much did they pay? <laughs> I would want to know that because I need to know I'm up against the fact that in their mind, this thing costs three grand. <laughs> okay? So, things you can do. This interview process, imagine tracking all of the information that you had for every prospect in a database that allowed you to sift and sort and search. What if you met with somebody and they weren't ready right then, but a year later they called you because you stayed in touch with them? Wouldn't it be great to not make them feel like they're new? What if you could pull their name, they're not a client, so they're not in your QuickBooks account, but what if you could pull their information up, sift, sort, and you're able to talk to them, okay, you know what, I remember little Johnny's got allergies, you guys have a couple pets, there were some issues, you guys must have decided to stay in your house longer because I remember you guys were only gonna be in there for the next year. How do you think that conversation feels to a consumer? Like you what? Like you care. Okay, leveraging technology to convert time to cash, that's really what this is about. All right, other things. When you guys sit down and you're talking about selling equipment, it doesn't have to be about price. You guys should be talking about the value, the issues that it's gonna resolve. So if they have problems with their kids, go for the kids first. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> get, them, get them on the kids or the grandma staying in their house, okay? Mom's here. All right, so you guys wanna focus on, here are all the benefits, these are all the different programs we have. We have energy efficiency savings, there's gonna be tax credits. You guys, it's April. We should be talking about tax incentives right now, okay? In addition, focus on the calculation. 
As far as what they're going to save for a higher efficiency system, all of your websites should have a SARE calculator on it. I tried to click it. That's not a <laughs> should have a SARE calculator. If you tap that, it's going to show you the savings, projected savings over two years, five years, and so forth. Beneficial. Talk to them about the realized value of what this new system, the higher efficiency system, is going to provide their family. Make sense? Okay. Next, deliver and satisfy. This, we've talked a lot about reviews. Just a reminder, we've got to have this down. At the top of every one of your websites, you should have a little button that says, use this recently, rate us on Google, or leave us a review on Google. You have to be careful where you're asking people to leave you reviews. If you ask them to leave you a review on Andy's list, who can see it? Yeah, I can't even get them off there. I gotta log into your account to get them off to put them on your website, okay? Google is God in that world, in the digital marketing world. The more you have reviews you have on Google, when you've, when you've gone and done a search, did you notice there was a bunch of ads at the top, then there was a map, then there was three listings, and then there were all of the search results. Have you seen that? Pay-per-click, moneymaker. Google business listing, which for your location where your office is physically located, you guys should nail every phrase in that category, especially right in the city where you guys are listed. Google business listing is free. Driving reviews to it, couple small changes on your website, and telling your technicians to please ask them to go to your website, click on the, on the link in the top left hand corner, and leave a positive review, you'd greatly appreciate it. Fair? All right. <coughs> So, I'm going to leave this. Next, upsell. Maintenance plan, we've talked about that. Do you guys operate a database that you have the ability to sift and sort and know what people bought, when they installed it, how long they're going to be in their house, when they purchased their house, and so forth? If not, that needs to be part of the information that you track through the sales process. All right, we'll skip this. Next one. We got to increase referrals. This is a great example. How many of you send out thank you cards when you guys go do a new installation to a client? Anyone? Okay, so we have print, paper, time, money, address, mail, and technically when you go to your trash, where's the, or when you go to your mailbox, where's the first place you go? Here's the difference. So what does that accomplish? Three things. You ask for a review, you thank them for your business, and what? And you ask for referrals. And how many times did you have to recreate that video? That's it. Efficient. We need to be fast, we need to be smart, we need to be efficient. One video, this can last you a lifetime. Is it slightly more efficient than having to do individual notes? Is it personal? Because some people, I, I agree that a handwritten note is personal. Is the owner on a video personal? Especially when you start it off and you say, I wanted to personally thank you for allowing us to come out and service your air conditioning unit today. If you wouldn't mind going to our website, dropping us a quick review, it's in the top left hand corner, and oh, by the way, greatly appreciate your referrals. In a video, in addition, we can literally set it up to where you have a little link on your site where you can go Type in their email address, hit send, boom. That and a series of other emails can be automated and sent out to the clients forever on demand without even having to think about it. Efficient? Okay. All right, referral rewards program, anyone have one? Awesome, okay. So you can also talk about the referral rewards program if you have one in your video. Same thing, and can they get to it on the site easily? So I keep going back to this number one rule, respect your customer's time, which means you gotta have a website that's effective, efficient, knowledgeable, current, relative, easy to get around, easy for them to find what they need based on their needs, and contact you based on their personal preference, not yours. Cool? All right, other little things. We've talked about FAQ and terminology. 
You guys have a tremendous opportunity in partnering with Day and Night and Air Cold because the program that they've put together, it's unmatched. Literally being able to take all of these things I've talked about, not have to worry about whether or not they're gonna get done, you get the perfect website, all 60 local business listings set up for you, managed for you, optimized for you, all the reviews monitoring done, positive reviews, leveraged, put on all your sites, your website, your social media sites, things you wanna promote, put on autopilot, just moving out, going on their own, and some assistance in getting you ranked through the partnership with Air Cold and Day and Night. Does that sound like a perfect world? Yes? Do you want to do this yourself? I don't even like this stuff. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. So you guys are definitely, who has questions? Do you guys have questions on this or other things that I haven't mentioned? Are you overwhelmed? How much is it? Do you need a cocktail? <laughs> okay, so how much is it is a good question. There are two different ways you can go through this program. All right, number one is if you're interested in having all of those things done for you, I would encourage you to sit down with your sales rep, talk about the program and they're gonna go through. There's three different programs depending on your sales commitments. You guys have seen how accrual funds work with other, other companies. You have to sell everything, you gotta earn your money and then you gotta fight like heck to be able to get an invoice, pay for something and then request your money back. You see, have you seen that? No, okay. <laughs> That's normally in the industry how it works, is you gotta work really hard. They have a program where you guys are coming to the table with a sales commitment, they're investing in you up front, and all of these things that I've talked about are prepackaged, ready to go to put you in a position that you have the infrastructure to be able to not worry about this stuff anymore. Because the list that I covered today is one-tenth of what we actually need to be working on. There's hundreds of other things that we need to be focused on, we should be doing that are not on this list. But you guys, if I looked at all of your sites, my guess is this is where you need to start. You need to start by perfecting your home base, your website first, surrounding your website with all your local listings and your social media sites. And then once you have that, we can start focusing on some things that are more creative or gonna drive more operational efficiencies or drive more business. So that's first, okay? Once you guys have a conversation, they're gonna direct you to have a strategy session with us. We're gonna go through and we're gonna evaluate your website. We're gonna evaluate your local listings. You'll get a report, you'll know what works, what doesn't work. We'll take a look at everything that you've done. You either can take all this amazing information and bring it back to whoever you're currently working with and ask them questions and see if you can get some things done right or changed or modified or you guys will wind up in the program with Air Cold and day and night, or you guys can talk to us about doing things individually if you just wanna to touch on one or two of these different services. Fair? Yeah, what else, what kind of questions? How much really is it? <laughs> is, say that again? It depends on what day. So, um, are we local? We do everything digitally. So um, we have teams in New York, in Florida, Seattle, uh, Texas, Nepal, and India. So everything that we do is digital. Literally, it's getting on a webinar. We can see you, you can see us, you can see our screen, talking, it'll save you time, you're not driving to meetings and so forth, but everything can happen online. It, you guys don't have to. I even have dealers that are now doing evaluations through a Google Hangout where they're, they're on video chats with their, <laughs> their clients, which is pretty cool. Okay. So Gentlemen, so say that again. Six grand. Oh, did they give you that in here? I was told <laughs> not to go over it. Jeez. Okay, I'm talking about pricing since it's in the paper on their desk. <laughs> so, here's the programs. This is so, <laughs> really? Got me up here struggling. All right, here's the real. Okay. <laughs> here's how this works. <laughs> in your portfolio. One, standard. The standard program, you guys are committing $75,000 in sales, okay? It's split, so to $12,000 total investment. You guys are investing half of that, 
sorry, it's $6,000 total investment. You guys are investing $3,000 up front. The total program, you guys are in the first year, you guys are getting $12,000 in services. So this is your website, all 60 local listings, your social media, online scheduling system, CRM system, and four geo-based key phrases, two blogs per month, and two off-paid articles per month. I have this memorized. Okay, standard, you guys are investing 4,500, program value is 18. You guys are have $150,000 sales commitment. I think it's 150 to two something. 249999. Okay, and with that, you guys are investing 4500. If you guys were just to purchase a website that had a content management system, completely custom design, a SAR calculator, the HVAC uh, FAQ, HVAC terminology, the troubleshooting system, promotions and rebates area, apply for financing forms, sign up for maintenance forms. If you just did that on its own, what do you guys think it would cost? If you went to an agency and say, this is all the functionality I want built into a website. $700 a month. $700 a month? Oh, 700 a month? Or a month, yeah, you could pay a month and you could lease it and not own it. I don't know about that. Okay, in this environment, there's a tremendous amount of functionality as well as the training and everything else that's in there. And the final one is you guys are doing 250,000 in sales and your investment is 6,000. This is literally, so last one, completely custom website design with all the functionality that I mentioned in it as well as you guys are probably missing content and I'm not going to wait for you to write it. <laughs> so the missing content you need for your site for the 12 AC repair, AC service, AC maintenance, AC installation, AC tune-up, same thing for furnace. We'll write that content. All the functionality, hosting, maintenance, upgrades, backups, security, support for your website so you don't have to manage hosting or hosting company. Your scheduling system that you saw on the right hand side, you guys, that is also a completely automated CRM system or contact relationship management system. Let's say somebody books an appointment to talk to you tomorrow at noon. The system is automatically going to notify your prospect as well as you that you guys have a 15 minute appointment to talk tomorrow at noon via text message and email. Helpful? If they need to reschedule or you need to reschedule, there's a button at the bottom where they can do the reschedule online so you don't have to worry about that. So your conversions are higher, your meetings are higher, your no-shows are less. You can also use the system to set reminders for the future and be able to say, I need to follow up with them in six months and it's gonna send you notifications and reminders. All right, 60 local listings, Google business listings, reviews, monitoring, social media, and an entry level SEO and blogging. Cool? What do you, what do you guys think the value of this is? For your, for your investment, you think it's fair? Open feedback. You do? All right. Okay, you guys, so thank you guys very much. I hope this is helpful. If you have questions, I'm at the back of the room. I have Mike Hicklin. He's our VP of Operations right here in the back right-hand corner. Scott Smith, video guy. If you guys want to do a quick video about your time here today, um, about this event, if you want to give a quick testimonial, a shout out for day and night, we would love to have you. Just Scott will be in the back of the room and he'll do just a quick interview with you. It's a great opportunity for you to introduce your website yourself, say who you are, and of course we'll be publishing that everywhere as well. How many of you will get on camera today? Thank you. Oh, Edward. Anyone else? Really? You make me do this up here all by myself and you won't get on camera for two I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, you guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you got some information that's helpful. We're here to help. Talk to your sales rep. Tell them your interest level. And I hope to talk to you on a strategy call and we'll get going from there. Cool? Okay.